Hey guys, Ron here, and in this video I busted out some sketches and doodles of Pokemon I made around 10 years ago. Some of these Pokemon I first created when I was 10, and a few I expanded upon when I was like 14, so they're really old. They're not in exact chronological order because I grouped together, I grouped them together in context, so the Pokemon that are kind of related to each other are together, but the ones that are in the back that you'll see later on are better, so make sure you keep on watching till the end. And as you can tell, this is not scripted, I'm all, this is all just... Just talking to the mic and I'm just gonna show you some Pokemon. The, the purpose of this video is so that we can revive some of these designs and then you guys can tell me in the comment section which Pokemon you want me to recreate and further develop in a later video. So help me out by paying attention and enjoy! So I mean this is the first one I have here. Um, these fi they're fish that are covered in this rock. I mean, that's basically it. I mean, this is a, like a monkey god, and this is like a little tiny Bigfoot Pokemon that evolved into a Bigfoot Pokemon. And this is, I drew this before Gen 5 came out, so I'm sure this was inspired by any Pokemon or anything. While some of these are, there's just more drawings of the same thing. Some of these Pokemon are inspired by other Pokemon. So is there anything in the back? Oh, okay, this is a preview of the next Pokemon, these uh, construction building Pokemon. But here, here they are, like, full on page. I mean, Fighting, fighting, and then fighting dragon. I like I, they're all based on different construction things. This is a little, you know, Bob the Builder, little kind of guy. This is like a construction worker, and then this is this is like a crane, like a dragon crane, again, as in like the construction crane. So both like the bird crane and the construction working crane thing. So I thought that was clever at the time. Again, this is probably I was probably, I think I was twelve. This is definitely before high school. I'll tell you when things are from high school, but. Assume everything is before high school. Assume everything was lower than 8th grade, um, unless I tell you so. And then, oh, if you see here, some of these Pokemon inspired or were further developed in on the channel. So, for example, Ka this is, is became Cabash um, from one of the challenges with Natani. Um, and then also this, uh, well, it was back, I don't know what it's called, I forgot what it's called nowadays, but now it's, uh, in the past it was Erupted. And then some pirate parrots, like... I, I like this page because I, as you can see, like I used some of these Pokemon in the future to for further ideas. And then I don't know what the names of these things are, but like this is, I think, like electric poison. And you'll see me trying to uh, create electric poison Pokemon later in in this. I, I, I'm very fascinated by that typing, so I tried. I think this is like Steel Ghost or something like that. These are just sketches I drew in class, honestly. So, see, just more sketch. I came up with a Pokemon in class, and I'm like, okay, let me just doodle it some more. And that's what I did all, all of class, usually. It was just me doodling. This this isn't a doodling class. This is actually at home, because it's on white paper. But, like, see, this was... These two were... This was created in a later video for for one of the challenges. And this is the evolved form, if you have never seen it, honestly. Um, I did describe it in the video. And then here's some fish poke. Also this! This was also developed later to... I'll show it on screen to another Pokemon that I use in one of my videos. Like, I mean, this is clearly inspired by Swampert. This thing right here. But like... They're more like... Fish people. I don't know. But then you see here, here is more developed. This! I used... These three Pokemon in later videos for challenges. And then so, you, as you, I mean, this was developed more, I combined it with its evolve form to make it just a, a single evolution. Oh, this one I do like. This Pokemon, this little, like, these s tribal skull-wearing Pokemon, I mean, more like, like Cubone and Marowak, but more like tribal. I like them. I, I actually really want to develop this Pokemon in the future, this Pokemon specifically, or, and, you know, the pre evolved form too. Hopefully I can differentiate them from... From Cubone, they're actually psychic types. And then here's also this thing. Rush call, can you see it? Rush call and gel jet. Some of these names aren't like this is before I knew I realized Pokemon actually have names that make sense. This is a family, I believe. Um and they they're they're like these they live in caves and they eat rocks. They're like bat sharks. They're crazy. They're crazy. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make these. I like them. Oh snap! I don't know what this thing is. This is probably based on it's like a like a ghost dark type, but like this thing. I don't even. I don't even. These are three Pokemon based on the different stats. This is like a defense Pokemon, an attack Pokemon, and like a speed Pokemon. I don't know why this one's defense one. This one looks more bulky, but whatever. 
Oh, this is not bad. I mean, yeah, this is pretty cool, honestly. Like, it's, it's, they, they don't look like they're part of the same family, but I like them. This one, okay, now these are Pokemon that I expanded upon. These were actually Pokemon I made when I was like five and, and like expanded upon, not five, like seven and expanded upon and then redrew them when I was like, again, like I probably drew this when I was like 12. Like they levitate and they have these like weight, like these little dangly things are weights and they, 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 they get used to strength training because of them. That, so they're fighting psychic, honestly. It's fighting, then fighting, then fighting psychic. Or no, fighting, then fighting psychic, then fighting psychic. Like, and this is a baby Pokemon, I believe. So it evolves through happiness into this thing. Um, and then it levitates. And then it creates, and, and then it, it's inspired by like a little billy goat. And this is, I named it Gokul, probably because it looks like Goku or something. But I wasn't even a big, I wasn't even a Dragon Ball Z fan. But I obviously know who Go, knew who Goku was at the time. Um, and this is just Pokemon... Look, I don't know, Crick Ear? Is this supposed to be a cricket? I don't know. It's like a butt, like a, like a rhino pig. Kind of looks like Tepig, honestly. And this was, again, this was before Tepig. So, not gonna lie, this kind of looks like Tepig, but it's a rhino. It's, it's, it's a, it says Rhinear here. Gokul. I, it's hair is on fire. That's pretty cool. I have a lot of Pokemon here where their hair is on fire. Holy schnitz, there's a lot of Pokemon in this here. I have... Whatever this thing is. Oh, I know. These are, these are like those like slow lorises, but like I gave them like psychic powers. Like they're very slow, but then like they get like psychic powers and become super smart and their brain is like growths on its head. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know what this thing is. This is definitely based on Akuhita. There's some ninja ninjas and ninja masks. And this is before I even like ninjas. Oh, you see here. Now this one, this one I think was drawn maybe when I was 14. This is one of the later ones. Um, uh, but that was still like almost 10 years ago. Uh, Frikidna. It's a, I think this is a starter family. So it's a little like echidna that by the time it evolves, it, like it's able to use friction on its head to, you know, ignite its hair, to ignite its fur. Um, that's pretty cool, honestly. And this is, a, this is a Pokemon that I do want to develop in the future. Frikidna. Oh, here's more Pokemon that I later developed into a, a Pokemon in my uh, in my uh, challenge videos. Again, this was before it had. Well, I don't remember. Did I give it give it cords? This is how it looks like. And then, I guess I I remember doing a second version of this where it has cords. Um, and then these things are like electric, electric dark. I don't know why it's electric dark. What's dark about it? And some sucking sucking a water leech with a spike on its head. Not bad. This one's pretty cool, honestly. I don't know. It's like kind of like a shark. It's just a cool design for like a shark-ish Pokemon. It's pretty cool. I don't know what its deal is, but it looks it looks rad. And now this thing. This is like a little seed caterpillar, but it's not long. And then it evolved into this like long caterpillar snake that is armored. I think this is still bug. Oh, okay. And then I designed these. I'm very interested in making a Pokemon that is... You know, just I like I like the idea of a, of a snowman Pokemon. I guess Abomas Snow is the closest we have, and I think this was made after Abomas Snow was created. So this is probably during Gen Four I designed this. Um, but yeah, not bad. I think like Ice and Ice Dark, maybe like Cacturn and Cacnea, but like Ice type. Not bad, not a bad idea. Oh, and this is like this fish Pokemon that becomes like a mammal. Uh, like it's still m m mammalian. It's still a fish Pokemon, but it's mammalian. So it's like Mamarine. Another Pokemon that was later used. I would like it to focus on that. Look at Samurush. And then it has its evolve form that you've never seen before. There was a time where I didn't make evolutions of other Pokemon, but it's not, it wasn't my favorite thing to do. But this is an evolution of Cast Form. And it has like normal form, storm form, uh, tornado form. And that's the thing. In this, instead of changing types, it changes stats based on the weather. So the type doesn't change. See, this is hurricane form. I guess it actually gets stronger. So like storm, and then it becomes tornado, and then it becomes a straight up hurricane. So that's pretty cool, honestly. I think cumic cumic cast. This is another uh, cast form evolution. I'm I was a big cast form evolution advocate. Um, so I made a lot of cast form evolutions. Like some of them aren't even here because I made them like when I was even younger. Is furnace bears, fire steel bears look with an oven inside them. Some like 
medicine uh, herb Pokemon that evolves into this thing. And then I actually, I like them so much that I, this, they were one of the first digital Pokemon I ever drew, you know, digitally. So on like, I don't think this was Photoshop, I think this was Corel Painter. That was the program I used to make these, my first digital drawings of Pokemon. Not bad, not bad for, uh, I think, 11 year old. The, uh, an amoeba Pokemon. And this was, I believe, before Reuniclus. This was, I think I was 13 when I made this. So I predicted a, like a single celled or organism evolving into like a, that's pretty, a mitosis Pokemon and then evolving into, damn, I predicted Reuniclus. That's pretty cool. Now this is another Pokemon that I later made uh, into uh, digital digital art. So this is Maca Bark and Maca Maca Mask from Macabre and Bark. It's like a ghost that inhabits a tree and again a, like a stump. And this is literally before Phantom and Trevenant. So guys, foil ants, not bad, not bad. This is one. Uh, so the next two Pokemon, I believe. Yeah, I made after I was just I was just googling Pokemon newly discovered animals, and one of them was a a Picari, I believe. It was just a different uh, like a, a new species of like wild boar or something. So I made like a wild boar Pokemon. This is the evolved form. I guess this is the pre-evolved. They're ground normal. And then another one was the Kiwi Hirsuta or the Yeti crab. I made a Yeti crab before Obama Snow came out, um, and I decided to make it into put it in like a tux. I don't know why. I, I, I thought it made sense and it, lo it looks good. I this, Out of all like the families, I like how this does look like a pre-evolved form of this. So I think this is one of my most successful uh, Pokemon creations when I was young. Because again, this was before I was 13. So I think this was, I was probably 13 at the time. And yeah, it's purple and white. I'll talk about it more. This is this dove that was like a peace dove. It's This part is actually green and this is a leaf. It's... I guess, I think it's part grass type, like fine grass type. This is the evolved form. It's like basically you know, on, a, on a dove carrying an olive branch. And then also an evolved form of gold duck. So I did make a uh, digital art of this, I think when I was like 14, 15. So this was actually one of the latest ones. And you can see because there's some kind of anatomy in terms of the body. And this is very original. Um, this is like a silver fish. Have you ever seen sil the bug silverfish? I'm not gonna show it on screen because some people are against that. So it's basically like a bug mammal. It's, I don't know. It's water type. And now this, rock grass. This is, I think it is kind of familiar. This is the prototype of, of the Pokemon I made in like the creating Pokemon 4, creating new Pokemon 4. Um, that's why I was kind of, um, this was like the prototype, and this is, you see the first sketch was this, and then this is also the prototype of the evolved form. This, this, this didn't make it, this design, because I, I don't know, it's not, not that appealing, but you see sometimes this, I get my ideas for newer Pokemon from old Pokemon, and then they, they, I develop them more and they become newer Pokemon. This is a Pokemon that I do want to draw and develop. These are flying types, and depending on its temperament and stats, it evolves into at different levels and has different stats. So this is Daminast and it's this nasty bird and there's flying steels, like their feathers made of like steel wool. And Daminast is like this rowdy, angry bird, but it's strong. While its counterpart, Daminest, isn't strong. It's very weak, it stays in its nest, but it's polite and nice and cute. Um, but if you stay with this and, you know, train it, and it becomes stronger and it will eventually evolve level 42 to Solidaire, Solidor, whatever this thing is. It's, oh, it's like a solid condor. Uh, but it'll have way better stats if you evolve a Dominist into Solidor than if you evolve a, Domi a Daminist into a Solidor. If you evolve Daminist into Solidor, stats aren't going to be that good. But Daminists are going to be. And the same thing, pen drawings. I want to develop this Pokemon. I may, This may be the, draw, the, draw, the Pokemon I drop in later videos. This is just them in battle. And again, this was, I, I drew this during Generation 5, I believe. Now here, this is a Pokemon I want to create. A, f a poison electric type, where it's it's like, I, like I love this design, can you see this? 
I just love this character. I just... And this I made, yeah, I think I was 14, so this is one of the later ones. And it evolves into something like this. It has a lightning rod on its head, but it's like also toxic poison electricity. I don't know. It's just all the bad things. <laughs> all the bad things about technology these Pokemon embody. And now this also made it into it became a Pokemon. This is more of a Frickidna. And this Pokemon, I combined these two, and it became the Pokemon that I used in a later challenge with Natani. Again, the names were different. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's like, again, it's a, I mean, watch that video to find out what it is. It's like a poison, it's a water, water poison type that filters in, you know, pollution in the water and then creates clean water. Now this, I wanted to make a legendary for my region that, um, you're gonna, you're about to see stuff for. Um, this is a primal Pokemon. This is a Pokemon that existed, uh, in olden times, in ancient times, that would create earthquakes. And it's not like Groudon where it created continents. This Pokemon is a psychic ground type. It creates earthquakes. It's, it's a chaos Pokemon. Um, while its counterpart creates uh, volcano eruptions. Um, and this is the region, but you'll see the towns and maps. I'm not going to describe it until I make an entire video based on it. Like where I describe the story and everything. I already described the evil team, Team Ozone. This is the starter of that region, where, I mean, this is back then when I when it was on all fours, all fours, but then slowly I developed it, developed it uh, and it became not on all fours. Here's the digital art that I made of it, I think I was 14 when I did that, and this is the evolved form. Uh, it originally looked like this, and then I get, it became that, and then it becomes this thing. A grass dragon type. I guess just a more fierce Meganium, honestly, so that's why I never really further developed it because I realized it was basically Meganium, just way more masculine. Then I made, again, I made a water bear Pokemon. A little, like, cute water bear. This is its eyes, this is its expressions. And then it evolves, I guess, into this. This is the middle stage, it's big, big and fat. And then, like, the evolve form is even fatter. Like, it, I think this is basically as far as I went in terms of the design bug water but it's actually big and this is the region again i don't want to give too much away so i'm not going to really describe it uh like a bug pokemon based on like an angel and a demon and again this is another pokemon that i developed into a pokemon in a challenge papalov or papiov more of that angel demon pokemon more of that character that you'll see in a second and this was one of the first drawings of that character this is back a long long time ago while well, the ones that you just saw before was a little later like this one this one was like probably like three years after i drew the <laughs> before i drew this one um darcy is the father of sydney the elite four member from gen 3 and he's a dark type he's the first gym leader and he's a headmaster of a school that you go to and that you have to you have to battle him he's the first gym leader he's a dark type and you have to he's the the principal and he's a cool guy he's actually a really good principal and you have to battle him in order to get permission to go on a journey so he's your first gym leader you'll see that De were developed more in in the uh, in the video that I make solely for this region and again this is more of him this is that uh, this is his Pokemon he just has this and then the evolved form and these are like dark type uh, weasels or ferrets um, and they jump <laughs> that's why they have like this like instead of Linoon that goes straight this one goes straight up and then these are the protagonists this is the first drawing this is a long long time ago this is this is and then I, like, here are two of the drawings of these protagonists, but then I developed them even further, like, later on, when I was in high school, and then I drew this. This is the, the male protagonist. And then other, like, NPCs. And this is the girl one. This is the two protagonists. Um, the, the, you know, so this is, <laughs> you can see the evolution of the, of my style. So this is, I guess, I was, like, 11, 12, and then this is... 14 years old, I believe, when I drew this. I remember I drew this right after I watched uh, My Neighbor Totoro for the first time. I was, I was inspired to draw after watching that movie. And I made some NPCs maybe a year later. This is during high school, but like, I think these are the latest drawings. Like, these are the ones I made when I was like 16. I'm 22 right now, so again, this is like, this is all six years ago. But, um, yeah, Team Ozone. You. Watch this video that's- watch the card right here. Right there. Right there. Uh, to, uh, go check out that video and see what their story is. Um... 
I'm not gonna elaborate, you guys already know, this is just behind the scenes, some concept art of the characters. Now this you haven't seen, this is Avery, the champion of the region, but this is like my style, I guess, uh, you know, proportionate, and then I had to like, this is like in between, between my style and Sugimori, and then this is the style, the Sugimori style that I used in the video. Um, again, I, this is before I even mastered, I'm, I still didn't master Sugimori style, but this is before I really even came close to doing well in Sugimori style. If you want to see me turn specific Pokemon that you just saw into Pokemon in a, in a later video, uh, please tell me in the comment section below, just say which Pokemon you, which of the Pokemon, describe the Pokemon that I, if I didn't give it a name, describe the Pokemon in the comment section, and the ones that get the most likes, um, will probably be turned into Pokemon in a future video. So like this video to show if you want more, um, videos like this, subscribe if you haven't, I have a lot of videos, and this is a very unusual video, technically, all the other videos I actually draw, um, and then, you know, check the description for all the music I use, the, the, teach, the link to, for my t-shirts, my Twitter, everything that you need, and I'll see you guys very soon.